Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Schuck, Director of the UCLA Kidney Cancer Program. Thank you for joining us today. I'm thrilled to cover a question that a lot of my patients ask me is, can a kidney tumor come back after treatment? Yes, it can. So all treatments that we offer for patients with a localized kidney tumor, it is offered with a uh, hope to prevent cancer recurrence. We aim to cure. And if residual tumor cells can remain after treatment, they eventually can come back in the future and cause future issues. The location of these residual tumor cells, they may make a difference in how things show up in the future and uh, what timing they will reoccur. The aggressiveness of the cells in the body often determine when they will show up. So a tumor which is maybe less aggressive may show up years down the road, and obviously a tumor which is more aggressive may show up more quickly. Now the natural history of tumors in the kidney, uh, they follow several different kind of goals. One is invasion. Kidney tumors can grow locally and they can invade into other adjacent organs or throughout the kidneys meat or parenchyma. And they may not respect the natural boundaries. If you can remove a tumor completely, it may eliminate some of this risk of the tumor kind of growing. Now the other natural history of kidney tumors are metastasis, meaning they can get into the blood and they can surf around and maybe set up shop somewhere else. Uh, these could be invisible. They may set up shop and grow over time and be invisible initially, and when they grow and get large enough, they can show up later. So a local recurrence does potentially mean that something was left behind where the tumor used to live. And the residual cells can remain after treatment. With partial nephrectomy, they may be left at the trailing edge, they might have started to invade into some microscopic vessels, and over time they may start showing up or grow. With an ablation, when we stick a needle into a tumor to try to freeze it or burn it, there's a chance that maybe part of that tumor did not get adequately treated by reaching the critical temperature to destroy the cells, and over time, these cells may become visualized on imaging. So imaging at the site of where the tumor was living with uh, an ablation or where the tumor was removed uh, with a partial nephrectomy, they may show up over time. If left untreated, these unchecked sites of recurrences can continue to grow. They can cause local symptoms and these cells may be able to then migrate or launch other attacks to other parts of the body. Now a local recurrence, a new tumor can form in either kidney obviously. Um, they could be unrelated to the prior diagnosis, so again, you can have that local bed recurrence. But we also see patients who might have a tumor that recur with an independent tumor um, in another part of the kidney. And we have to distinguish between a local recurrence, which is something left behind in that kidney, or maybe a new tumor we call a de novo occurrence. And we see about 2 to 10% of our patients may have a new tumor due to what we call multifocality. And I like to equate that to if you have a pimple on this side of the cheek right here, you might get another pimple on this side, maybe just because you're prone to acne. Uh, but most of our recurrences that occur, if they're in that surgical bed where the tumor used to live, it's clear that it is a local tumor, something was left behind, as opposed to a new tumor. Now a distant recurrence, again, kidney cancer can spread to any part of the body. And again, that cells that are getting into the bloodstream and shedding before the surgeon had a chance to get there. And again, kidney cancer likes to move to other areas like lymph nodes, lung, liver, brain, bone. It really can go to anywhere. And over time, this patient over here, you tell the patient you removed everything, but you can't see single cells. And it would be wrong for a surgeon to say you're cured. We hope that you're cured and we follow you closely to confirm that you're cured. But over time, uh, these small little areas, they can start growing and they potentially can show up, and we call that a recurrence, okay? They were hiding all along. Now, we can try to understand some risk of recurrence at the time of treatment. We can put in some of their risk factors, such as the size, the type of kidney cancer, the grade, meaning how ugly it looks, and the stage, and we can try to individualize someone's surveillance pattern. Imaging is the key to early detection, and how do we detect someone's recurrence? Well, we try to understand how aggressive the tumor is, and we have clear recurrence 
um, um, surveillance studies where we do imaging of different parts of the body depending on the risk. Um, again, you should stay on your recommended surveillance approach once you're treated by your surgeon or, 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 radi uh, or interventional radiology with an ablation. You potentially would want to have a clear understanding of how closely you're going to need to be followed and with what type of imaging modalities. You stay on course and then maybe you're going to be able to find a recurrence earlier. Now, you could lower your risk of recurrence. We do know that our highest risk patients who have clear cell kidney cancer, if you have the right type of tumor and it's high enough risk, we do have therapy that aims to lower the risk of recurrence. We call that adjuvant therapy. And adjuvant therapy is given after primary treatment, which is nephrectomy, um, to try to lower the risk and ultimately improve outcomes. We do have clinical trials here at UCLA that are, as well as FDA approved options that are available to try to help patients lower the risk of recurrence. Some of these are oral, some of these are intravenous. At UCLA, we're lucky we have urologists who are willing and able and knowledgeable about giving some of these agents, but also medical oncologists available. We often work together as a team and give patients some of these uh, treatments. And some of our trials aim to offer patients really uh, a, a much greater chance of remaining disease-free if they have a high risk of recurrence. So thank you so much for your time. You're always welcome to come visit us at UCLA or uh, arrange a video visit. Here's some contact details. If you like these videos, we're making many more of them. Hover over this QR code over here and we're making a video resource center with many videos which may be useful for patients with kidney cancer. Or if you want to support our research program or find uh, ways to help us make more videos, we're always uh, appreciative. If you want other information on our webpage, we have uh, a detailed webpage with lots of information to help our patients learn more about all our treatment options. Thank you so much for your attention today.